Coach, with the uh, four guys you got in early from the early mm -hmm. signing period, I guess, you know, how's that experience of getting mm -hmm. some more guys here in the spring that you couldn't really do quite as much before? Yeah, that, has not, that has not been a big MO for us, mm -hmm. but uh, what you're finding is, is I think we're attracting different, different guys in recruiting, and they want to get started uh, academically. They're on solid ground. Uh, without question, uh, going through spring football is certainly going to help them. There's a great transition, and we're already seeing some really good progress from those four guys. You talked about Andrew and you know mm -hmm. Marcus not being out in the spring, but who else is kind of behind him? I know Elijah's certainly played a lot of yep. football as he did. Well, who else, other than Andrew's, had some good You know, I say it's Gandy's so. back there. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Braden. What's that? Braden. Braden Smith really come along and done some good things there. That transition from corner to safety has been good. So I think those guys are providing some really good depth and they're getting meaningful reps. Is there anybody who's really surprised you so far this camp? I know you haven't maybe done a whole lot of live work or any yet, but no, I, th I think Aiden's. You know, he's he's starting to emerge as a guy. You know, you saw him on pro day make mm -hmm. some plays. I started joking with him after he made a couple catches the other day. Uh, is he really going to declare? Um, <laughs> Um, you know, I think Rudy Stouffer is, has been a real pleasant surprise for us to see him continue to, to progress as an offensive tackle. Do you need – how soon are you getting close to scrimmage work, Coach? Um, we'll do, uh, um, you know, maybe a little bit of tackling on Saturday. It won't be a lot of scrimmage work, but there's going to be integrated some live work. And because we've got some young players out there, we need to see what they're going to do. But it won't be a whole lot of repetition. Uh, the next Saturday after that will be a full major scrimmage. When, when you know you thrust Trey Woods into the mm -hmm. running back spot last year, and it was kind of a trial by fire, mm -hmm. so to speak. Are yeah. you seeing you seeing some progress from him early this spring? Is just being more comfortable with the position or anything like that? We are. Um, a lot of times you think the running back position, certainly when they have the football, a lot of it's natural instincts. But there's so much that goes on at the line of scrimmage on their reads or progression where they're supposed to run. I think uh, all these repetitions are really helping him. Well, Kellen's a little dinged up. Are you seeing anyone else kind of showing some signs oh, or anything? Or you know, I think it's yet? not 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 yet. And also, I think we'll find out tomorrow with Kellen. Um, you know where he's at. Um, there's a there's a probably better than 50 50 chance he's going to need surgery or miss all the rest of spring. But we'll find out after the MRI comes back. Is it the same shoulder that he had the issue with a couple? Of you know years? what? When I talked to RP, I didn't ask him mm -hmm. that questions. I probably should have, but uh, I don't think it is. But we'll find out. Any other just you know observations of your two quarterbacks? And again, I don't sure nothing solidified, um, but anything catching your eye? I thought it was a little bit of a mixed bag today. Too many picks. Um, I think they're certainly playing with some authority. We did some more pressure package on defense, which complicated some things, and that's going to be a, a good learning curve for him. Speaking of learning, how how good is it to go against? Your defense, mm -hmm. and you know, with just uh, what they've got to look at this spring. Um, Competition always brings out the best in you, and certainly, at least in the back end, Johanna's a, a front guy that's been out there. We're losing the other front guys, but the back end guys, it's great to have them all out there. Coach but, Antonio made one of those picks today. Mm -hmm. What's what is it like to have him back in the mix? I well, it's, it's great. Straight. It's given us flexibility, and it's given us like Tyler Hall to be able to move to nickel. Uh, you've got an experienced corner back there. Antonio's played a lot of football. You know, it was a, you know, a tough, tough year for him to go through in medical, uh, but he's back full speed, and it's great to see him competing. When you do have those four guys here early, is you know, do you kind of expect when they get two camps the first season that they won't redshirt, or is it always just kind of a, a guy by guy basis? Well, we'll look at uh, a couple different um, <clears throat> uh, litmus tests. One, uh, do we have a positional need? Uh, two, uh, do they have the physical ability? And the third thing is, do they have the emotional maturity? Certainly coming in in the spring and getting 15 practices under their belt where there's a teaching progression is going to help. Uh, but there's a lot of uh, moving parts. We'll know a little bit more. But they're certainly going to be more ready uh, than a guy that doesn't come in uh, during the spring. i got to mention Cooper had a 52-yarder. Yeah, we're leg. working on that. <laughs> Cooper's leg looks a little bit farther. Uh, you know, it's great. And we'll keep on working on the kicking game. Okay, guys.